Republic of Congo hours after Kinshasa said the airline has been barred from its airspace. DRC on Saturday said that it had immediately suspended their one day flights in the country with government spokesman Patrick Muyaya saying that a stern warning is given to the government of Rwanda over its alleged involvement in the conflict in North Kivu East and DRC. The move came after DRC uh, accused Rwanda of supporting the M23 rebels who are currently fighting government forces in North Kivu province. The Democratic Republic of Congo said it has suspended Rwanda airline flights and summoned Kigali's ambassador after authorities accused Rwanda of supporting the M23 rebel group. Kinshasa this week said Kigali was backing the March 23 movement, which Rwanda denies amid renewed clashes between the Congolese army and the militia in the east of the country. The military evidence were found in the area. The images held by our armed forces as well as the testimonies collected from our people demonstrates that M23 is supported by the Rwandan army. This attitude is clearly aimed at undermining our efforts to bring about peace within the framework of the Nairobi process. Consequently, the High Council of Defense draws the following conclusions. First, the M23 is considered a terrorist movement. It will henceforth be treated as such and is therefore excluded from the Nairobi dialogue process. Two, a warning is issued to the Rwandan government whose attitude is likely to disrupt the peace process, which is nearing its conclusion within the time framework and within the Nairobi talks. All the armed groups, with the exception of the M23, are committed to peace. Three, as a precautionary measure, it was decided to immediately suspend the flights of the Rwandan airline company to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Primarily a Congolese Tutsi group, M23 is one of more than 120 armed groups that roam Eastern DRC, many of which are legacy of regional wars more than two decades ago. Now let's encapsulate what's happening on the continent. Somalia's foreign minister has been suspended over a charcoal expert uh, and U.S. has warned companies over doing business in Sudan. Here are five business stories making headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. The five business stories making headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. Nigeria's central bank surprised analysts and traders on Tuesday by raising the benchmark interest rate 150 basis points to 13%. The hike, Nigeria's first in two years, is intended to combat rising inflation, but also sent markets tumbling. The United States issued an advisory on Monday warning American companies of the growing reputational risks of doing business with state-owned enterprises and military-controlled firms in Sudan. The country has witnessed regular protests since a military coup in October, and lawyers say dozens of political prisoners remain in detention. Somalia's prime minister has suspended his foreign minister, citing the authorization of a ship exporting charcoal to Oman in violation of international sanctions. The UN Security Council banned such shipments a decade ago to cut funding for the militant group Al-Shabaab. Russian aluminum giant Rusal has called a strike at its Guinea subsidiary's bauxite mine illegal. Workers at the Kobad facility have downed tools, a union leader said on Thursday, demanding better working conditions and a salary increase. And finally, Central African Republic is to launch Africa's first legal cryptocurrency investment hub, the presidency has said. It's an extension of the impoverished country's embrace of digital finance, despite words of caution from the International Monetary Fund. Marred by decades of conflict, Qatar last month became the first country in Africa and only the second in the world to adopt Bitcoin as an official currency. Uh, that's it from the business desk. Thank you very much for watching business today. We are told that the sky is the limit because we've placed it there. It can go higher. Come on. Well, I'm Nokip Kimboy. Up next, we have Mbiga KTN with Suleiman Yeri Stadium.